Hello everyone, this is the Geometric Models team here and we are going to answer a question about the arrangement of the color angles on a torus donut. Our good friend Bobby from Australia has asked us how the angles of colors are specifically arranged on a toroidal topology. Now we met with Bobby last year at the Breakthrough Technologies Conference organized by Dan Winter and Roger Green. Uh, before going there, a very short introduction about what a torus field is. Torus fields have always been engendered in the forms of plasma fields, clouds of charge, structures of photons, and even in some elevated forms of DNA, alphabet, symbolism, are just to name a few. Now, the majority of the scientists today agree that more than 99.999% of the universe is comprised of plasma, which is a cloud of charge. Given all plasma domains travel in donuts, they have a toroidal form like a torus or a donut. Now, uh, more details about the qualities of the torus fields is available on the website geometricmodels.com. Also, those uh, torus donuts are available at geometricmodels.com. Um, with this specific question of Bobby, we are going to refer to Dan Winter's website, fractalfield.com slash fractal photosynthesis. Now, this is a chart that Dan has prepared, and we can see the wavelength graph of the colors. And we see that red color starts with the zero degree, and at the other end of the spectrum, we have 180 degrees. So these are the arrangement of the color angles on a torus donut. And there is the green at 90 degree angle. Daminter has discovered the other, I mean the two key angles are the face angles of dodeca, which are yellow and blue. And before that it was known that the angles producing the color were cubic, not exact 45, 90, and 135 degrees. So now I'm going to use 0 degree red and 90 degree blue to explain this question of Bobby. And to make it easier, um, I'm going to use this brush to show you an X on the torus. Let's say this is the X axis on a torus donut. And this is the zero degree and this is the 90 degree and this is the 180 so when you look at the zero degree of the torus you would see the red color and it continues as in the rainbow colors orange yellow and green now green sits on the plane of the table which is the 90 degree compared to the x-axis and it is a dominant color on the 90 degree angle and continues on the other side with blue, purple and pink and on the other side comes out as red again. So, uh, now we know that because green color is the exact 90 degree angle on a photon donut this is the reason why plants spit out green. We already know from Feng Shui, astrology and other disciplines that 90 degree angle is quite detrimental for health. And this is the reason why plants cannot digest 90 degree photon tilt. And when you look at the plant life observed from the satellite, when you look at the pictures of the world, the plant life, we see it as green because the plants can suck in all the colors except for green. Because it's 90 degree angle, they spit it out. They cannot digest the color green. And we already know that green is the exact opposite of photosynthesis. So the two key frequencies of photosynthesis are very well known here uh, purple 
and red and that has proved the two frequencies of photosynthesis are exactly phase conjugate, exact golden ratio exponents of Planck length per dense equation. What this means is that the two key frequencies of photosynthesis exactly fit with the universal frequency cascade, which is golden ratio exponents of Planck length. Um, so then strongly hypothesizes that the reason color exists is that the photon as toroids are forced to angle their relative approach in 3D to the dodeca faces and this allows them to face conjugate constructively and this is what causes them to emerge at the dodeca face angles called color. So when you think about how we perceive the color what happens is that the photons, light particles, or the torus donuts, which are the shape of photons, they hit the back side of the eye. And we know that there are very small, tiny antennas sticking out at the back side of the eye called pines and cones. And the purpose of those angles is to observe and measure the angles of the photon tilt. So if the donut hits the back of the eye at a 90 degree angle, then we know that it is green because that angle is being translated through the nerve system to the back side of the brain, which is the optical cortex, and color is being created there. So it's all about the tilt of the photonic angle. So, um, of course, there is more to uh, the qualities of the photons or torus donuts, and we have more information available at geometricmodels.com. So, another interesting point about these is that there are specific qualities on a torus donut. So, the red side is specifically a biomagnetic south attracted to the North Pole and it is considered to be the Yang part of the equation and it's centripetal. And uh, we already know from the physics of black holes is that red is the last color to disappear right before the infrared spectrum. So this gives us a color. So it's at the centripetal part and on the centrifugal part, we see the dominant blue color. Uh, it's the biomagnetic north attracted to the south pole. And it's the yin part of the equation. So uh, also you can find this information at fractalfield.com and more about the qualities of the uh, centrifugal and centripetal sides of the toruses there. So... Um, this was a small introduction to the physics of donuts. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if, you want to want, if you want to learn more, you can always visit fractalfield.com or geometricmodels.com. And you can find those torus donuts at geometricmodels.com. Now, I wish you all a good day.